Hello, Cancer, my darlings, and welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. Okay, so Cancer, I'm still out of breath, you guys. Um, I had to, I have to restart this video because um, we were in the middle of it, and and I had an emergency with my cat. Okay, so <laughs> honestly, I had to, I had to stop the video, and um, yeah, I'm still like out of breath from it, but I'm back with you now, and I'm going to go through everything all over again. Okay. Anyway, Cancer, whew, I got to catch my breath. Um, just take what resonates, my darlings. Leave the rest behind. And thank you so much, my darlings. Thank you, Cancer, for everything. Um, all of your support, all of the love you guys give me, all of my subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody. I love you. Yeah, you know, stuff happens, Cancer. I don't know what else to say, but I'm laughing about it now. But it was... It's a long story, but it was a shocker. <laughs> anyway, um, Cancer, there is a masculine energy here, this King of Cups, who is literally, number one, they're angry, okay? They're angry, they're falling apart, they're extremely emotional with the King of Cups and the Ace of Cups. All this person can do is think about you and realize this is a sudden crashing kick themselves kind of moment where they realize they lost you. Your energy isn't even out here, Cancer, and all of these cards, I don't see you out here besides the Ace of Cups. This right here. Um, you are the Holy Grail cup of love. Okay, in their central focus, they're under major judgment or somebody here is under judgment. Honestly, I kind of get the sense that the masculine who ghosted you, because I feel like they just ghosted you, they hurt you, they betrayed you, they could have chose someone else over you, acted like they didn't care. I feel like they're placing judgment on someone else, okay? Somebody who lied about this connection. Someone who trash talked you. You know, they could have they could have said, Yeah, no, don't go after cancer. You don't want to be with cancer. Um, cancer's gonna wreck you or cancer's gonna break your heart or something like that. There was a there was somebody who lied who could have said that you were nothing. Okay. They could have told this person, no, you don't want cancer, just kick them out in the cold. Okay. And that's what this person did. There was a liar here um, who's been exposed now. Your person, whoever left you, um, they're realizing they were absolutely duped, okay? Um, it's like they were ripped off or something like that of ultimate wish fulfillment, of their holy grail, cup of love, of their um, the one that they love the most, Cancer. I feel like this was a really good connection between you. When you met this person, I feel like you were both happy and elated and excited about where it was going to go. Um, this is somebody who could have promised you, you know, um, a lot of things in the future. You could have talked about the future, imagined it together. Okay, I'm seeing somebody... Somebody here sat and watched the sunset with this person. Yeah, I just got the chills and someone's starting to cry. I'm really sorry. But somebody sat and watched the sunset with this person and planned maybe a beautiful life together. You were both happy together. This was something that they really, truly wanted. They wanted this connection. But they listened to a liar who trash-talked you, Cancer, um, who portrayed you as the Five of Pentacles. That's somebody who isn't going to accomplish a lot, someone who's out in the cold, someone who's broke, someone who has children. Maybe they somebody portrayed you as being needy, okay, and said, no, you don't want cancer. Oh, man, you don't want cancer. And guess what? This person just made the choice, but they were under an illusion, okay? This judgment card this is your person realizing this with the tower. They're realizing cancer, um, that they were lied to. They were, uh, it's almost like their wish was completely stolen from them. That's how they feel, okay? 
um, they are realizing that this was an illusion. They're realizing they shouldn't have trusted this liar. They shouldn't have believed this liar. They should have trusted the person they were making these plans with. They should have trusted the one that they were planning a future with, Cancer. Okay? Or they at least shouldn't have. I feel like they believed whatever this other person was saying. Okay? And they didn't even talk to you about it. See, that's the part that bothers me the most in this reading. They didn't talk to you about any of this, Cancer. They just up and left. Okay, for whoever this is, this is your whole story, basically what happened behind the scenes. And I feel like your energy isn't out here yet, Cancer, because you're already gone. Okay, you're already gone. You're not even in this reading. And it's for you. <laughs> and um, you, this is learning, okay? Usually I see this as somebody watching you, Cancer, and they may have been watching you, but I feel like they're learning the truth here with judgment. They're learning the truth of what happened. They're learning um, that they listened to the wrong person, that it was all lies. I feel like this person went and chose someone else over you, and now they're wondering, okay, uh, uh, wait a minute, am I, am I in, a, in a com another commitment for money? Am, am I just working all day just to provide for whoever that I chose over cancer? I could have had love. I could have had this beautiful beginning that I wanted. And, and I chose someone else and all they want me for is money. I'm only here to work and provide. Yes, and that is the truth. They see it now. Okay? They see everything now. This person, and they're falling apart. When, as soon as this person realized this shocking truth behind all of this, they, they literally feel like they were duped. They, they, they see the truth behind this now. Now they're, they're in all of these financial burdens, right? They're burdened um, because they, they lost your love. They lost that chance with you. They lost um, the plans that they made with you, the dream for this. For the Ten of Wands, that's what they got. They could have had the Ace of Cups. They could have had the Ace of Pentacles, a new beginning in love with the one for them, but they lost it. Now they, they, they traded that in for the Ten of Wands, all of these financial burdens. That's all this person has. They got no love in their life. And they've got a ton of bills to pay. They don't have the money to pay them anymore because they gave all their money to somebody else who could be racking up the credit card bills, living beyond their means. Your person goes to work every day to make the money to provide, give the money to whoever they chose over you, and then they, they fall apart. Okay, and they get up and they do it every day is the same for this person. They've got no love, no excitement in their life, and just a whole lot of debt. Possibly karmic debt. Okay. Oh, they're paying. They're paying. I feel like um, when, when there's two people here, there's your masculine, oh, who, who, this King of Cups energy that's falling apart that was tricked out of this beautiful connection. And then we've got this other liar, right? This Five of, of Swords person, okay? The one who really just wanted to keep you two apart. I feel like this liar knew that this was a very strong, intense, good connection, and they didn't like it. For whatever reason, they wanted to break you two up. This, the one who lied, this could be um, another ex from your past, Cancer, because there's something about your energy, Cancer. Have you noticed? Whoever breaks up with you wants you back because they can't forget you and they can't get over you, and you're the best they ever had. It's just that they take advantage of that, or they don't see it, or they don't recognize um, your value, okay? But they always want you back. Have you noticed that? And it could be anyone. It doesn't have to be lovers. It could be, it could be friends, family, but these lovers, if you're intimate with these people and they experience your touch, and your warmth, 
and your energy and your kisses, okay? When they experience all of that cancer, they can't forget about it. And they can't replace you with anybody either. I mean, haven't you noticed the people that leave you behind? They always want you back, don't they? And that's why. Because you're so loving and gentle and nurturing, you know? Um, you're so giving and kind and loyal and sweet. So I feel like this could have very well had been an ex, another ex from your past that also wanted you back that didn't want somebody else getting in the way of that. So they ruined it, Cancer. There's two people out here that I feel are under judgment. All right? One could very well be a divine masculine. Okay? And I feel like this is this, is this person here, this one who listened to the lies, the one who walked away from you believing the wrong, the wrong person or the wrong people. Um, this is a divine, I feel like it's a divine masculine, okay? Um, but, you know, when this card first came out, Cancer, I feel like this is spirit saying you were both tricked. Honestly, this is spirit saying that you were both tricked. Because here's the thing, that when they messed with you, Cancer, your energy's been taken out of this altogether, when they messed with you, I feel like it was supposed to teach them both a lesson. They were both supposed to learn something from this. Now, the one who walked away from you, oh, they're learning. Because you know what? They're literally, they're kicking themselves. I said this last in last night's reading, right? They're literally kicking themselves, Cancer, for the choice that they made in walking away from you. And they got with a, the wrong person, because of money, they were possibly um, duped into that relationship as well. Like they could have been promised, you know, um, they could have been promised, yeah, we're going to have a lot of money. We're going to build something solid. We're going to have a mansion and a yacht, right? Something like that. They were tricked. You know, they were tricked. And if this liar said that they should leave you because you didn't have enough money and this person left you because of that cancer, you know, um, they didn't see the value in your love. Like when you met this person, you could have very well had been in a struggle. Um, and I feel like the struggle was possibly because of this backstabbing past ex, you know, um, or other people who have betrayed you. I feel like you've been walked all over. The struggles that you've had, Cancer, most likely were because of somebody else who caused them for you. Taking your money, taking your energy, keeping you isolated, not wanting you to grow, not wanting you to improve yourself, um, projecting their stuff onto you, making you believe that you would never be enough or have enough, right? All of those situations kept you down. So maybe you were in a time of struggle because you were just beginning your lessons. You were just beginning this journey, okay? You hadn't learned everything yet. You hadn't transformed yet. Um, and, you know, but they helped get you to that poverty situation. They helped get you... Um, these All these people who took advantage of you, Cancer... I feel like they, um, you kept getting knocked down further and further and further, but there wasn't anyone who was truly believing in you to, to uh, encourage you to help build you back up, you know? So maybe you were kind of at a very low point when you met this, this King of Cups, okay? And you offered them your love, which was worth everything, everything. Okay, I feel like right now, Cancer, you're in a you're like in a time of stability in your life. Finally, you're no longer in that in that five of pentacles energy where you're struggling. Okay, I think life has gotten better for you since you broke away from the negative people. Okay, but that was spirit's trick, right, is to let them see how much better your life is now. And, and give them the time to realize um, 
that they, no, they, none of them saw the value in this cup. None of them realized your value, okay? So now spirit has kind of tricked these people into looking at themselves in the mirror. All right, especially this king of cups. They needed to learn a lesson. You know, I mean, if they judged you for materialistic reasons, right? This person listened to somebody else talk trash about you. They didn't defend you. They took their advice, okay? So they, they were easily swayed and led away from you. And I feel like it was because of materialistic reasons. If they thought you weren't enough before cancer, um, they, see, because they judged you for what you didn't have instead of looking for what you had to offer, looking at what you had to offer, right? Um, now they're, they're learning a lesson from that as well, from misjudging you. Okay, so they're learning a lot of lessons here. But still, it's not going to get you back, okay? And I feel like this was spirit kind of arranging things, um, arranging things and tricking these people into actually doing their work and looking at themselves and realizing everything that they lost, okay? I feel like this person this other person from your past that lies and tries to break situations up for you, they're going to end up getting their karma um, because they're, they're going to end up alone, constantly scrambling around, trying to figure out what to wreck for you next. Okay? And if you've taken yourself out of the equation and away from these people, they can know this, per, this person who's constantly trying to keep people away from you and break up connections for you, they're not going to be able to do that anymore. They're, they're not going to be able to touch your life or touch connections anymore. That's going to drive this person nuts. It is. You know, and I feel like this liar, this is, this is them right here, observing you, watching you, stalking the situations, right? Trying to scramble around and try to figure out what to wreck for you next. That's this. Okay, but Cancer, you're way above this person. All right? Um, it's over for them as well with the world card. They can't harm you anymore but they're constantly thinking about what they're going to wreck, okay? I'm telling you, they're, they're going to be constantly thinking. This person could have gotten in between several connections for you in the past. You know, they're, they're always laying here thinking about what they're going to say next to cause you or someone else more heartache. And cancer, I feel like um, I feel like you're just so far above them. Like spirit has put you way up on a pedestal, and these people are way down here. Okay, um, yeah. And I feel like this person's always going to be jealous. They're always going to be envious. Okay, they're angry. Spirit is probably very angry at this, but I feel like this is how spirit has arranged things. You know, when I, I'm being led to look at this, like they're arranging things so that these people can wake up, see the truth, learn a lesson, look at themselves, and stop doing what they're doing. Because, I mean, they're, and they're constantly, um, it, it, it almost feels like this person here, this, this betrayer, this liar, they're constantly looking for ways to wreck things for you, Cancer, okay? They're going to be getting their karma. I feel like the magician out here is the divine, saying, look at how we've arranged this, okay? Look at how we've arranged this. You got the liar over here scrambling, and this person from your past who left you behind for materialistic reasons, they're realizing all of this, seeing the truth behind it all. And now they're carrying a heavy burden because they realize they, that this connection was pretty much 
Um, they were tricked out of it. They were duped. You know? Yeah, there's two people. I saw the two of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. I feel like, Cancer, you've been taken out of the picture, possibly even moved. I'm hearing moved someplace else. So you could have been redirected to another location. So you could have recently made a house move. Um, or, or, you know, I don't know. I feel like you're on the move. You're not a part of your, your own reading. And, um, and spirit now has these people kind of right where they are. Like they're, they feel very stuck to me. This masculine, this liar, they're stuck because they can't get any more info on you, Cancer. There's the, and there may not even be anything to break up. Okay. And this person over here, they're totally stuck on you, Cancer, because now they want the one person they can't have, the one that they screwed everything up with. Yeah, look, it, this is spirit out here. I looked at the magician card and I'm like, I know this is the divine and out pops the higher font. So yes, that's a huge confirmation. You know why? They're, all, they're both going down. They had to fall into some kind of, it was almost some kind of trap or snare that the divine created for these people so that they could change their ways. You know, because who's to say, Cancer, that this person, if they didn't learn their lesson and they came back to you, they could have listened, they could end up listening to the next person and leave you again. Or they'll, they didn't, they, um, they needed to learn the value of your love so that they respected that. Okay, you didn't get respect or consideration from either one of these people. You know, and so spirit didn't want that kind of person around you. All right. This, they have to learn their lessons, especially if somebody wants to be with you and wants to um, build a future with you and make plans with you. Spirit needs to know that they're not just going to up and leave you again. Or spirit needs to know that. Um, when it comes to getting the truth, they need to they need to come to you, not listen to other people who just want to betray you. They needed to learn this stuff, and this was the trap to get them to do it. Okay, and this sorry, cancer, my battery died. I'm having the toughest time with this for get, getting through your reading today. All right, so um, and this liar needed to learn a lesson, Cancer, because they, need, they just need to be stopped. They need to get your name out of their mouth. Okay? So now they will. You've been moved um, possibly to another location or you're just out of their life and they can't see what you're doing. They don't know who they can sabotage for you next, you know? Um, so they're, they're kind of unable to sabotage anything else for you. And this is making this masculine go crazy, angry, jealous, enraged, maybe even furious, wondering what they, you know, they're just waiting for an opportunity to ruin another connection for you. And if they, and if this masculine tries to come back towards you, they're not going to listen to this liar anymore. I feel like um, whoever whoever um believed these lies this king of cups energy possible water sign cancer pisces scorpio they're furious at this liar okay they're absolutely furious like this is somebody who may even want to fight all right and it's all because they were messing with you you're the high priestess um i feel like you're the reason why these people now are starting to have to take a look at themselves and learn a lesson. And now they're, they're realizing cancer, um, that they're, they're suffering their karma because they were messing with a high priestess. Yeah. There's going to be a fight that pops off. I'm telling you, whoever was lied to about this connection, they're going to want to, kick the crap out of this out of, the, out of this liar okay i don't know who this is it could be an ex-friend an ex i feel like it's an ex there's about to be a fight 
Yeah, the one, yep, a fight with the one who's out here spreading the gossip on you. So Cancer, both of these people are going to be getting their karma. And Spirit is now arranging it. So both of these people who have betrayed you are going to fight with each other. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Both of these people who have betrayed you are going to get in a fight with each other. Okay. Yep. And you're, you're silent, Cancer. I feel like you're quiet. You're protected. In high priestess energy, you're very tapped in. I feel like um, spirit is showing you all the answers that you need behind the scenes. Um, you're, you're all prayed up, right? Yeah, and the answers are coming in loud and clear. Like during this journey, spirit has probably shown you things little by little. Okay, as we're ready to see them, you may have already been shown this liar and the things that they said. You may have already figured out or been shown um, the fact that this beautiful connection was was um, was ruined by this liar. And you've probably already been shown that there's about to be a nasty fight between these two. Okay, to get this other liar to get you out of their mouth, right? So, yeah, Cancer Spirit is showing you everything while they're keeping you safe and protected. Okay? But yes, there is about to be a fight. And yes, this person from your past, they are about to come in and, and communicate with you, Cancer. They're going to be ending and walking away from whatever they chose over you that's coming in the future and they're going to be coming in with an apology but i feel like by then cancer it may be too late i feel like spirit is taking this high priestess somewhere else okay or just ending it um at closing out this cycle you know these people needed to all of this negative energy, the gossip, right? Think about it as energy. The gossip, the betrayals, okay? The lies, the uh, materialistic ways of judging other people, the ghosting of others, the acting like they don't care, okay? All of that energy, the spirit is trying to vanquish that kind of stuff and banish that kind of stuff, okay? Um, and this is, this is how, sometimes this is how spirit works in the background to make everybody see what they've been doing, uh, to make everybody go into that hermit energy and learn a lesson, okay? And Cancer, I feel like light workers, because I feel like you're a light worker out here, a divine being all the way with the high priestess and the higher font together. Um, I feel like um, I feel like you you're you were kind of like a tool in this. You know what I mean? Spirit, spirit, spirit made it so neither of these people could forget about you. Okay, neither of these people can um, can get over you. And so now they're realizing that all of this stuff, all of this bad stuff is happening in their life. They're getting their karma. All of it's happening because of what they did to you. Like they're realizing this is all because of what they did to you or walking away from you, Cancer. Okay? They're all realizing it now. So not only do they get their karma, but you're getting justice. All right, and spirit is making it very clear f for these people to see because you're coming out here like as in the world card up on a pedestal. Spirit is showing these people like there's no way they can get it confused. Okay, there's no way they can get it confused. But yeah, there's going to be a fight that pops off between. Um, this liar and your person that walked away from you, Cancer, they're going to be walking away from a karmic situation that is just about money, and they're about to come in and give you an apology for everything that happened because, man, they wanted you then, and they want you back now. They wanted you then, 
and they want you still now, okay? They're just, they're really ticked off because they realized they were, they were, well, they screwed themselves over when they did this to you, okay? Yeah, look, I feel like these people, both of these people have, con have to confront their own issues, all right? And clearly they can see that you're just fine without them. Cancer, I feel like you don't need anybody in this energy that you're in. You don't. I feel like you're happy being single. You're um, happy um, working on your projects, right? Becoming abundant, becoming independent and stable, going through a transformation. Like, you're good. I see you out here just whistling a happy tune, enjoying the spring, being happy. You know, you're happier without these people than you were when you were with them. And they're both seeing that now. They're seeing the problem was never with you. It was with them. It was with them and everybody else who treated you poorly. Okay. Yeah, they're seeing it now, Cancer. Anyway, my darlings, I'm going to take this over to Patreon. Okay, I want to see what happens next between this masculine and you. I want to know more about this fight that pops off between this um, liar and your person. This is literally someone's whole story. It even goes deeper than that, Cancer, because we've got the Hierophant out here telling us that this was actually their way of s getting these people in their own snare, okay? getting these people to trip themselves up so there can be a change people can't keep treating other people the way that they've that they've treated you and spirits not going to allow these people to treat you that way again you're protected and flourishing okay but yeah i've got a lot to go through on patreon guys if you're interested in that extended there's a link to follow in the description box below okay um, and I'll meet you guys over there in just a little while. Just give me time to do the reading and load the reading, okay? Um, the whole process takes about an hour. So anyway, my darlings, I'll see you over there. Um, if you like this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel, you guys. Join this awesome soul tribe. And until next time, Cancer, my darlings, take care of you and peace out.